I'm going to show how to do a compression test on an engine. This is a standard compression tester. It's got the gauge in PSI and it's got this hose attached to it which has some different adapters and O-rings and this screws into the spark plug hole. And it also has a quick coupling so that you can screw the hose in easily without your gauge connected. And then there's a little button on the side to bleed down the pressure when you're done. So I've removed all the spark plugs and I've pulled out the DME relay uh, which runs the fuel pump. Alternatively you could pull the fuse for the fuel pump. You're going to crank the engine over and you don't want the injectors firing fuel and getting fuel into the cylinders when it's not igniting because they'll kind of puddle up with fuel and can wash down the cylinder walls. So I'm going to screw this right into the spark plug hole and I'm going to just twist the hose until it's kind of fingered tight. And once it's snug and fully seated, I'm going to plug the gauge into it. Now I'm going to get into the car, and I'm going to hold the throttle pedal all the way down so the butterfly is fully opened. This way it will uh, make sure that there's no restrictions for the air going in, so it gets a, a true reading. And I'm going to crank the engine over for about 10 or 12 crank cycles, and you'll see that the the needle keeps climbing up on the gauge and will kind of peak, and that's how you know you've got your maximum pressure. And then it'll stay until you press the little release button on the side. So there we are. The cylinder has about 125, 126 PSI. And then to bleed the pressure, press the button. And now you can unhook it.